look familiar? We torture tested this Walmart mongoose back in October, and since then I've made a few little improvements. Even the front wheel is straight now, thanks to the highly malleable nature of steel rims. And no, that's not a RockShox suspension fork. The reason I busted out the wall goose is so we can do an experiment on weight. I get a lot of comments from people who think their bike is too heavy. For example, they'll say, I'm trying a wheelie but I can't lift the front wheel because my bike is too heavy. I'm going to take a wild guess and say they're not talking about a beautiful downhill bike with a double crown fork. No, more likely these individuals are riding something similar to this wall goose. While they probably could benefit from a nicer bike, I'm not so sure it's the weight that's preventing them from improving. At 34 pounds, the wall goose is only about 2 pounds heavier than my full suspension. To do a proper test, we need to get it a little closer to 40 pounds, to match the weight of the beastliest department store bikes. My idea is to pack the handlebars, seat post, and seat tube with paver base. To prevent the sand from getting into the bottom bracket, I'm using a carefully measured piece of terry cloth precisely rammed into the seat tube with a calibrated broomstick. As you can see, this is not an exact science. I'm also adding this water bottle, since it doesn't really throw the bike off balance. After all this, the total weight is just under 39 pounds. I expected more to be honest, but this is still very heavy for a small trail bike. We're still well within downhill bike territory, but this is not that. Let's take the wall goose out to the streets and see how it performs. Well, not much has changed since the last time I rode this bike. It feels like a wall goose. Of course, it's no problem for me to wheelie this bike and even get up into a manual, although I can't really balance for long. I was even able to bunny hop it onto this trailer first shot. As expected, bike handling has a lot more to do with technique than weight does. Also, when we're talking about bike handling, it's important to compare the weight of the bike to the weight of the rider. Based on this, the wall goose weighs 25% what I do. For a 200 pound rider, a 50 pound bike would hinder them in a similar way. If you weigh 100 pounds, a 25 pound bike would be similarly difficult to manage. So based on this test, a bike 25% of your body weight isn't going to outright stop you from doing anything. You probably won't be winning any races, but it will most certainly not prevent you from doing wheelies or bunny hops. This test was interesting, but I want to have some more fun. Time to get creative. I'm pretty sure that pumping the tires full of water would make this bike prohibitively heavy. I figured I could submerge the base of this pump in water to do this, but I was wrong. The entire thing needs to be underwater for it to work, so I can't just use a container in my yard. It's over 90 degrees today, so this is actually a nice break after throwing this heavy bike around. The show must go on though. Let's do another weigh in and take this piece of crap for a ride. At 48.5 pounds or 22 kilograms, the wall goose now weighs one third what I do. That's significantly more than the e-bike I tested last week and well within the realm of the heaviest downhill bikes. This time we're going to set out by car. Something tells me that I'm not going to be riding this bike home. Very surprisingly, these tires don't feel all that much different filled with water. That is, until you try to accelerate or lift the front end. I can barely wheelie this bike now, and manuals are hopeless. It's a known fact that the weight of your wheels, or spinning weight, has much bigger impact on performance relative to frame weight. Since the weight we added is in the wheels, it's particularly effective in making this bike feel sluggish. Still, I can get the front end up. 360s anyone? Not on this bike, not here. I would need a much bigger jump for this, and even then I'm not sure what the outcome would be. After bending the rear wheel and bending it back, I decided to scale back on my ambition and try a 180. Well, that's the end of our test. This time it's not going to bend back. While this test was more just for fun, it does show that bike weight is a pretty poor excuse for not being able to wheelie or bunny hop. Usually it comes down to practice. Some people get the hang of tricks and techniques quickly while others need some time. If you have a cheap bike or a heavy bike, it may make you frustrated, but it's no reason to give up. If you can get the hang of things on a wall goose, just imagine what a beast you'll be on a more responsive bike with better parts. As for my wall goose, this was its last ride. Before I get rid of it for good, I need to remove anything of value. There we go. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time.